the first example is that you have a function f of x given by box x multiplied by sine okay obviously where well, this denotes the greater in greatest integer function and now you are asked to find the domain of the function and you need to find the points at which the function is discontinuous in the domain okay this is the question now since you have studied ch the chapter functions you have studied the chapter continuity i would urge you to pause the video try this question on your own because this question was asked in iitje okay so try on your own if you are not able to solve then only see the solution if you are able to solve it's very nice okay okay so assuming that you have tried this question on your own let's proceed with the solution now you know that you can see that this function is defined at all values except at values for which the denominator becomes zero because if this denominator becomes zero this is an undefined expression so what i should have is that this shouldn't become zero this shouldn't be equal to zero that means what that means that x shouldn't lie between minus 1 to 0 right so my domain will be obviously x should belong to minus infinity to minus 1 it it can't take minus 1 because if it's minus 1 then it's zero it can take zero okay so this is my domain okay now i need to find the points at which the function is discontinuous obviously you can see that the function has the greatest integer function in, in it so and you know that the greatest integer function is discontinuous at integral points okay so all i need to do is that if x is an integer I need to check whether the function is continuous. This whole function is continuous or not, because the greatest integer function gives problem only in case of integers. It becomes discontinuous. Let's see. At x equals to a, the left hand limit. okay now box of a minus h is value less than a integral value less than h that is a minus 1 and this is a plus 1 minus h so that's box will be a right because you see you have a plus h this is an integer you're subtracting a small value from that and now you're taking a box so you'll get this integer itself sorry this integer an integer less than this so that's a okay this is the left hand limit now let's see what's the right hand limit for right hand limit you have to put a plus h sin pi by a plus h plus 1 so now you are taking a value slightly more than a so if you take box you'll get a plus 1 and here you will get sorry here you will get a plus h box if you take you will get a and a plus 1 plus h box you will if you take you will get a plus 1 so here you will get sin pi by pi by a plus 1 so obviously you can see that the left hand limit is a minus 1 sin pi by a the right hand limit is a multiplied by sin pi a plus 1 this is not equal so at integral values the function is discontinuous okay Okay, now let's take another example.
The example is you have been given a function f of x. You have said that it's a continuous function. It's a continuous function. Okay. And it is defined between x1 to 3. It said that fx takes only rational values. for all x and it's also said that f of 2 is equal to 10. Now you are asked to find what is f of 1.5. This question again was a question asked in IIT JEE. So again the same request try the, this question on your own and then only proceed with the solution. Okay. What's the trick? The trick is if you have a function which is continuous between a certain, certain interval a to b okay then obviously it takes all rational and irrational values because between any two rational values you have infinite number of irrational values but it said that the function can take only rational values that means what if i start from this point let's say f of 1 if it's a rational value if i move slightly ahead of f of 1 again we can have infinite number of irrational values but it said it's take only rational values that means what it has to be a constant. So if it's a constant, then only we can ensure that it's taking only rational values between 1 and 3. Because if it slightly moves away from what f of 1 is, then again between these two points itself there are n number of irrational values. So it has to be a constant value. Now since it's a constant function and f of 2 is given as 10, that means f of 1.5 is also equal to 10. Okay, so this was my question. Now we take another example which is again an IIT J question. 